a guy who's a medical doctor on YouTube claiming that it might work. There's mixed evidence. Okay. Like, well, like, show, again, me the, it just, show me the clip of that and I'll be like, wow, that's pretty Show, show you the clip? Um, give me one second. I'll try to find it. Even months ago, someone in our community uh, made a post sort of I'll questioning just... the veracity of the research that we were citing. Something also, Dr. No. Abby, I don't know what your don't personal thinking... experience is with this, and I, uh, initially I thought it was kind of dumb, but after... Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna back out. I need to fucking go eat and shit. I'm gonna send you the... Dude. Topic of Dr. K got brought up. Um... Do you know if he'd actually be interested in a debate? Mm, honestly, I don't know how interesting the conversation would be. Um, my my position on it is that basically that like, I think it was, I think what he did in terms of his relationship with Rexful was probably questionable, but I don't know if I feel like super strongly on it one way or another. Yeah, I I certainly think it's questionable. Um, it's. I'd be more interested in debating him on not Reckful specifically, but some of the bullcrap that he promoted. Like, he's made a lot of really bizarre claims that I take issue with. Like what? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, a lot of the claims he made about Ayurveda um, and criticizing modern medicine. One of the stupidest things I've ever heard him say was modern medicine has an issue with targeted therapy. He was literally criticizing targeted therapy, which is insane to me, uh, especially as a psychiatrist. Why do you think um, that's so it, insane? Well, well, again, there's a reason why we have targeted therapies. It's because they work and people are going to have multiple conditions or uh, multiple um, ailments due to a condition and you're going to have to treat that with different targeted therapies like it, it's especially strange for psychiatrists too because somebody can have um, depression for instance uh, but they could also have like bipolar disorder at the same time so I would have to you're see, going to I guess have like, to. I would have to see specifically what were the statements he made that we feel are super questionable. Like, what was his, what was the exact? He, he was basically thing? saying, he was criticizing modern medicine for saying, oh, like, you have a cough, you have a cold, you have a fever. Uh, so, like, modern medicine will give you, like, medication for the cough, a medication for the fever. Like, like that. That's what he was basically saying. And then he was comparing that to Ayurveda, saying, oh, Ayurveda is holistic. Uh, in some way. I would have to see, we'll I would need you... to see, I, I hate to do this to you, but like, I would really need yeah, to yeah, see yeah. a statement. I think it's important, yeah. Because well, I, well yeah. sure. I, yeah, I'm not here to argue with you on, um, I'm not here to convince you that what I'm saying is true. I'm just telling you the issues I, I have with him. Like, it, it's just especially bizarre when he's a psychiatrist and, like, I have really bad mental health issues. I think that's obvious without me even telling you. But, um, like, I have uh, problems with depression. I also have problems with mood instability. Um, some of the medications I'm on also give me trouble sleeping. So, like, the idea that um, my doctor shouldn't prescribe me antidepressants, um, mood stabling stabilizing drugs like antipsychotics, and possibly another medication to counteract some of the, you know, potential side effects of those other meds, like, you know, I feel sleep. like it's, you really think that he would be against that? Well, this is what he has stated in the idea that he's given to his audience. Um, is I that wouldn't say prescribing in multiple medications are bad? Or that seems like an impossible well, thing for him to say. He. He suggested that. He heavily, strongly suggested that. Um, it was in the Dr. K manifesto, Dangers of Pseudoscience. I think you saw that that video. He strongly suggested that. He was um, he was explaining why Ayurveda was superior to modern medicine because modern medicine uses targeted therapies, which again is crazy to me. You that have would to be use a really therapies. that would be a really crazy thing to say. That's yeah. why I'm really um, curious. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Do you have like a link can, or a quote or anything I can look at real quick, and then we can. Um, 
Let me see. So it's um. I can message you, send you the entire video. Um, give me one second. So I just messaged you. That's the entire video. Um, I think you might have already seen it. Let me see if I can find um, the exact timestamp. Just give me two seconds. Am I just supposed to fire this Gatling gun at, or this big gun at the guy and it, it what, is it like stun him or I don't understand. Okay, um, found it. Oh my god. So that's the link with the timestamp. Um, if you want to watch it on stream, uh, go ahead. But, um, on top of that, he, he's also said like other really bizarre okay, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Um, one somebody... thing at a time, one way, one thing. Okay, let me click the sure. link with the timestamp. Hold on. Yeah, that would be the last one. Yep. Okay. Um, I think it's like three, four minutes ish. Okay, let me listen real quick. Hold on. Thing. Sure. Then we're gonna take another thing over here, like, um, ah, diet preferences. Okay. And we're gonna combine those two and see if we can come up with something even bigger. So this is how Ayurveda works. Ayurveda says, is there any correlation? between someone's memory and the type of skin that they have? Is there any correlation between their mental, like, cognitive fingerprint, like, and their weight? Is there any correlation between how constipated they are and how their heart functions? So what Ayurveda tries to do is, is it takes individual pieces and then it tries to construct patterns. And Western medicine does the opposite. It takes a whole thing, like when someone is sick, and it tries to divide them into its component pieces. So if you have an infection, you've got cough, and you've got fever, and you've got this, and you've got this, let's treat cough with this, let's treat fever with this, let's treat this with, you know, the third symptom with the third thing. And so what happens is, like, over time, you know, as people become sick in Western medicine, they have a lot of targeted treatments for each of their problems. So you've got two medications for your blood pressure, you've got one medication for your diabetes, you've got an asthma inhaler, and then you've got like physical therapy for your knees. And then you also take like Tylenol because you have arthritis. So over time, like, the, like what we do is we treat individual things. So we've got like a treatment here, a treatment here, a treatment here, and a treatment here. And so people end up with four treatments, right? This is how Western medicine works. What I read says is, is there any correlation between this? Is there a broad pattern that we can observe? And if there is that pattern, can we treat this and thereby improve this, improve this, and improve this? If we treat sort of the overarching pattern, can we sort of address all of the components at the same time? And so what I comes up with over here is something called doshas. So these are elemental balances. So what I read says is that people who are prone to ulcers are also prone to anger and irritability and are also a medium build and also tend to like lose their hair earlier than people who, like, so, so this is something called pitta. Okay, so like, anyway, so pitta has some, some correlated physical and mental characteristics. Um, Vata has some correlated yeah, physical so and mental basically... characteristics. Yeah, so that's basically... And physical and mental characteristics. And by improving the like doshas like in and of themselves, you actually treat all of this like the component symptoms. And there's actually data that supports this, okay? So now we gotta do, okay, I gotta fix this, okay? So Ayurveda, Ayurveda believes that we all have a doshic or elemental balance. And what that means is that we've got these three forces called Vata, Pitta, and Kapha, and that Vata, Pitta, and Kapha have each like a certain level, and that their levels sort of determine what attributes we have that are physical and mental, okay? Um, so let's talk for a second about, so Vata is like characterized by air, Pitta is characterized by fire, and Kapha is characterized by earth. They each also have second elements, but we won't get into that. So the first thing to understand is like what, what Ayurvedic physicians observe is they notice like some people are kind of like air or kind of like the wind. And what that means is that their mental thinking is what I call dynamic. So if we think about the wind, like how does the, what, what, is, what are the properties of wind? So it blows really hard and then it stops. It, is, he, is there a point in this where he says like this is better than Western medicine or that Western medicine well, doesn't work or is bad or? Well, there is another clip uh, later on where he states that he is able to take patients that could not be effectively treated or cured, quote unquote, of their mental health issues by using different medications and standard practices. But by implementing Ayurveda, he's able to get everybody off of their meds within like six months. And then they're perfectly happy and healthy. So he, he makes a strong suggestion that Ayurveda is better than modern medicine. Now, to be fair, when he says, um, is there is there, say, one therapy or one type of lifestyle change that could treat a variety of symptoms? That is certainly true. Like, I mean, if you start exercising, that will improve your heart health, that will lower your blood pressure, that'll lower your cholesterol. So, like, that idea makes sense, but he's not just promoting that idea. I think there's a very strong implication that he's make, making that targeted therapies are are generally bad. And it, like, again, he used an especially strange analogy. He said, people will be taking diabetes medication, uh, medication for their heart, medication for their blood pressure. Yes, because it prevents them from fucking dying. 
like, like it's just so bizarre for him to say that. And he's a fucking medical doctor. Um, and I think what's especially telling in this video, too, later on, uh, somebody asked him on stream, there's a clip of it, somebody asked him on stream what he thinks of naturopathic, uh, yeah, naturopathic medicine. Or not naturopathic, um, homeopathic. Mm -hmm. He said there's mixed evidence for homeopathic medicine. Um, there's some evidence that it works, some evidence that it doesn't. There's absolutely no evidence whatsoever that homeopathic medicine works. Uh, this is well-established medical fact that it does not work. And here he is on stream giving people the idea that it might actually work. Maybe you want to try it. Like, so my issue with Dr. K is not just specifically the thing that happened with Reckful. I'm not necessarily blaming him for his suicide or anything, but this guy should not be trusted. Um, he's, he seems like a kook. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I would be, I'd be interested in seeing, like, more specific quotes. I don't feel like, like, everything you're saying could be bad or it could be good. I would just have to hear how it's presented, I guess. I do think that, like, Western approaches to mental health right now are pretty shit. Um, including our drug therapies are, like, pretty bad right now. Um, but I mean, obviously, if you're saying shit like, oh, like, your dosha can be better than Prozac or whatever. I don't know. That, I mean, that could be said in a really well, stupid I, way. So I'd have to like. I feel like I really, really well, need again, to see the. Yeah, I need to see the quote. He's backed away from that, um, the Ayurveda stuff. And I mean, when he talks about things like dosha, oh, there's the air dosha, there's the fire dosha. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, like there's no clinical way to actually, you know, diagnose somebody with a specific dosha. Like, it's just nonsense. It's basically just literally ancient medicine where you go up to some shaman or, you know, wise person uh, to do a reading. Oh, I, I, I feel the dosha inside you. Oh, yes, it's fire. Like, it's just nonsense. And he's promoting this as a fucking medical doctor and claiming that there are patients that he's treated they could not be effectively treated with modern medicine, like which includes drug therapies. But then within six months, with this dosha bullshit, he's able to get them completely off of meds and they're perfectly happy and healthy. Like, again, that, that just sounds like absolute Yeah, again, I, I understand everything shit. you're saying, but we're running into the same problem a lot when you come in here. I just, I need quotes. Like, I, obviously, like, I can't just well, trust you, what you say to Well, I mean... The, like, what, three, four-minute clip uh, you just saw, there's, again, you, you can watch the whole video if you want on your free time or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of other clips, but, like, again, do you not find it troubling that a medical doctor would say something like, oh, yeah, there's mixed evidence for homeopathic medicine? We're, we're looping. Again, I would have to hear the context in which he says it. I think it's important. What context does it make sense for him to say there's mixed evidence supporting homeopathic medicine. Um, I don't know. I, that's why I would have to hear it. The, okay, I'll, I'll answer that for you. There's no context in which it's okay for a doctor to say there's mixed evidence for homeopathic medicine. Well, he might say, like, isn't. mixed evidence for homeopathic evidence versus, like, SSRIs, which, like, barely beat placebo, in which case that maybe that could be true. Like, I don't know. But, like I said, why would I not just want to see the original quote before passing judgment? Wait that I, I don't see how that makes that analogy you made makes any sense. Uh, I'm just saying like, why would I not want to see the original quote? I'm not going to say like, yeah, that's a ridiculous thing to say. I just, I would just like to see the original quote. Yeah. Well, again, this is established medical fact. I mean, they even teach this in medical school that homeopathic medicine doesn't work. Uh, there was a really large comprehensive study. Um, and I think it was conducted by the NHS uh, or the NIH. And they concluded um, homeopathic medicine should not be covered by, um, you know, government health care. Yeah, that's Because, fine. again, it, it has absolutely but there's no... Like, but there's, there is stuff that's covered by insurance that's also, like, bullshit, so that's not even a good metric. Like, most insurances cover chiropractic, for instance. Right, so but I'm, I'm not talking about it not being covered by insurance or government health care. I'm saying... This is well-established medical fact that it does not work. And here is a medical doctor 
who should know better, claiming that it might work. And, and again, in that clip as well, he says there's better evidence for Ayurveda than for um, homeopathic medicine. Like, again, like Ayurveda's fucking nonsense. It's ancient medicine. Like, there's no research on it. So for for him to even say that, well, it, there it's is. Just re ridiculous. I'm pretty sure there is research on Ayurvedic stuff. Um, now, whether that research, well, is there might. Bad, but. Well, again, there might be, um, say, research on the effectiveness of like meditation, which is part of Ayurvedic medicine. But um, no, like as far as I, I don't even know if it could be studied the way he explains it, because again, you have bullshit like. Uh, examining somebody's doshas. L like, how are you going to fucking study that? You can't. I mean, I'm sure we could think of ways to study it. I, again, I don't... If you want to show me quotes or clips of him directly, I can, like, comment on those, but I'm not... Obviously, I'm not going to comment on your summary of the clips. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I'm just... Okay, yeah. look, um, mm -hmm. there's no way to study something like doshas because, again, you're talking about, like, spiritual energy. Well, you could get some people to identify doshas, do treatment plans for them, and then see if it works or not, no? Well, right, but the, the issue is there's no actual objective way to examine doshas. What, what do they say do, doshas are? They must be like something that they say a dosha is, I would imagine, no? Yeah, it, it's basically spiritual energy. Yeah, but like don't different people have different doshas or whatever? Yeah. Um, but again, it's... Um, basically like this comprehensive idea of like my mind body spirit kind of thing and it, again it's like medieval it talks about like earth light fire air like if there's no way no objective way to actually diagnose somebody with a particular dosha how the hell can you study it like you can diagnose somebody for having high blood pressure you can diagnose somebody for having obesity. You can diagnose somebody for like a number of different physical conditions. How the fuck are you going to diagnose somebody with a particular dosha? You can't. Again, like these things. Well, isn't are there things? I mean, could you get five people together to like, and then see if they say who's got the same or different doshas or whatever? I don't know, dude. Well, like, just you're... why not just give me a quote? Just give me a quote from him, and then I, we can go over it. But I can't. I'm not going to evaluate Well, it sure. Based on... Like, I mean, I, I talked about the specific quotes. And no, but yeah, but you talking about the specific quote isn't the same as just giving me the quote. Uh, right? Okay. Okay. Well, again, the, the fundamental problem, dude, is that, again, like the example that you shouldn't disagree with me on at all, the homeopathic medicine thing. This is well-established medical fact. And he's going What do you think? Hold on. When you say that, it's well-established medical fact. What do you think is a well-established medical fact? That homeopathic medicine doesn't work. I don't even. I don't even know if that's true. I'm not even sure if that's true. That's absolutely true. Doesn't homeo isn't homeopathic like a whole field of like a ton of different no. things? So like for instance, no. chiropractic. No. So chiropractic stuff. Chiropractic quote unquote, nonsense. Doesn't. Yeah, but some of it. But it wouldn't surprise me if there was mixed evidence on chiropractic medicine. There is not. No, you're, I know you're wrong about that. Hold on a minute. I know you're wrong about that. There are people that go and they can report like certain types of pain subsiding, even if the practice of chiropractic is bullshit and everything especially is bullshit. There are some people this that do studied. see benefit. Okay. Okay, so this is well studied, and I'll explain to you why most chiropractic medicine's nonsense. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Back pain uh, resolves on its own in most cases. So if you actually do a trial where you have people with back pain and they go to a chiropractor, and you also have basically the control group where they're told to just sit, wait out the pain. You don't see a difference between the two groups. The reason is um, back pain resolves on its own, and it wasn't them going to the chiropractor that actually resolved their back pain. It's just that, again, the back pain resolved on its own, and they attribute it to the chiropractic treatment. There's, there's no treatment in chiropractic that actually has any proven efficacy except for back pain with a mechanical cause. So you can have very strange injuries. I've actually had one of these before where you can have significant spinal compression and uh, you can actually basically get your, your spine 
um, decompressed, and that can resolve back pain. Uh, I, I fell in hockey and I ran my head right into the boards. My uh, spine and my neck compressed. And I went to a chiropractor, like basically pulled on my neck and it resolved the pain. That, um, that uh, actually does work. But again, if you're talking about general back pain, like you picked up something off the ground, suddenly your back is thrown out, going to a chiropractor won't fix that. Um, but anyway, uh, there, like again, this is well-established medical fact. Homeopathic medicine does not work. And it's fucked up that you have a guy who's a medical doctor on YouTube claiming that it might work. There's mixed evidence. Okay, like, well, like, show, again, me the, it just, show me the clip of that and I'll be like, wow, that's pretty up. Show, show you the clip? Yeah. Um, give me one second. I'll try to find it. Just give me, like, a couple minutes. No problem. Okay, some people are only giving me the only clip you need. Hold on. Talked a fair amount about Ayurveda. Generally speaking, when I talk about Ayurveda, I talk about it more from a personality analysis standpoint. And as part of the support for Ayurveda, I cited a couple of scientific papers. Okay. Seven months ago, someone in our community uh, made a post it. sort of I'll questioning the veracity um, of the research that we were citing. And it turns out that they made really, really good arguments. You again. So, so we that's talked about the link with the time stamp. It turns out that a lot of their criticisms were actually really good. And for the last seven months, we haven't said a word about Ayurveda. Internally, we're going through the process of reviewing a whole body of Ayurvedic research. My point here is that sometimes HG will say particular things that we believe are correct and we'll even go do some research and we'll cite papers and stuff like that, but no scientific paper is perfect. And as members from our community will point out those kinds of things, we will absolutely adjust our behavior. So one of the things that we really value and hold ourselves to a very high standard about is actually accepting feedback from our community. We talked a fair amount about Okay. Asking, what do I think about homeopathy? So I think homeopathy has less biological plausibility than Ayurveda. Uh, there's a reason why I chose to study Ayurveda instead of homeopathy. The clinical evidence is like mixed. Um, I, I, I don't put a whole lot of stock into it. Because it's kind of bizarre, but there is some clinical evidence behind it. But the, the scientific plausibility is just really makes no sense, which doesn't mean that it isn't true. It could mean that we don't really understand as much, right? So for thousands of years, or like not thousands of years, but you know, 60 years ago, medical professionals did not understand the mechanism. They didn't see a way in which meditation could be used as a treatment for depression. They didn't understand. I don't understand. Like you have to talk to people's feelings to make them feel better. I don't understand how sitting down and chanting home for 30 minutes is going to help someone's depression. There's no like psychology. Freud would have been confused, right? Because he's like, where's the ethical complex? Where I don't think that this quote is that bad. That that is horrific. Okay. E even entertaining the idea that homeopathy, um, regardless of, like he admitted the biological plausibility of it is low, mm -hmm. but he entertained the idea that it could actually work, and then he said, "Oh, like you know, 60 years ago, they didn't know why meditation works, uh, like for you know depression or whatever, but now they understand. So, oh, maybe in the future." There's like, literally again, this nothing is well wrong with any of the things you just fact. said. None of the what you just said was wrong. No, was there fact. is. It is well established medical fact that homeopathy does not fucking work. Um, like again, maybe you should talk to Doctor Avi about this. Like any fucking competent medical doctor will tell you. Uh, you don't even have to be a, a medical doctor. Like just any competent person who knows how to do basic research would know that. Like he's more well educated than I am. Or, well, you know, I, I just think he lacks fucking sense. Um, I also think he has an issue with um, claiming he knows things when he doesn't, and he doesn't actually bother doing some of the research. But, um, like, for him to even entertain the idea that homeopathic medicine works... I think when uh, it comes to mental health, I don't think it's the worst thing to entertain that because our Western interventions well, for mental health are fucking horrible right now. No, they're, well, no, they're not horrible. They are absolutely, they're uh, dog shit. They're not They're fucking horrible. terrible. What do so you mean? Medications, so guess what? Medications have efficacy. Barely. They are improving. Barely. Well, no, they don't barely have efficacy. They no, barely they have barely it. Have My have understanding efficacy. is that like the they entire model of serotonin as a basis for depression was questioned there like last year. Just I don't even know if people believe that it's necessary. No, there are. There are SNRIs too, and there are other types of like therapeutic SBRIs, interventions. But sure, yeah, yeah there, there are a lot of drugs, but like we barely understand. And, and by the like, way, I and by the way, meditation and exercise is being recommended as well. Sure, that's fine. Uh, but I'm just saying that like right now our um, right now our medical interventions are 
really in their infancy, especially since so many other drugs have been blocked from research for so long. The therapeutic interventions are okay, but like to say that like our mental health understanding or our mental health interventions are great, I don't know if I would agree with that. I'm not saying that. they're great. Okay, well, then what are you even disagreeing with me about? I'm, I'm disagreeing with you on the claim that it's not unreasonable for a medical doctor to support homeopathic medicine. That's fucking It didn't crazy. sound like he was supporting it, though. He, he was supporting it. He was entertaining the idea that the, Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Have you, you're literally doing the thing. Have you heard the quote that it takes a great mind to entertain an idea without endorsing it? Do you understand there's a difference between those oh two God. things? You understand that he was okay, entertaining dude. it, but he wasn't endorsing it. You know there's a difference between those two things, did, right? Did you, okay, did you see the part in the clip where he made the analogy with, um, with meditation? And he said, oh, well, years ago, meditation wasn't supported, but now it is. Now we understand that it works. Like, he, yes, I like, did hear by that. entertaining yes. the idea, he was, he was giving people the idea who were watching that, that maybe you should possibly try homeopathy. I don't think medicine. he was saying that at all. I think he was just saying keep an open mind. It might be, there might be some underpinnings There's to no homeopathy. There's no open mind to keep. The, okay. the case right. is closed. Homeopathic medicine bring, does where not is doc, work. You can quote, doc, you can bring Dr. Avi in here if you want. Go for it. I'm pretty confident um, he'll I don't agree know with if me. He's, I don't know if he's free right now. I think he's in the same time zone as me, but let me, let me uh, message him and see. Yeah, I don't know when he gets off work. Um, it's probably like around now. Is there any like doctors in chat who could back me up? There's one doctor in chat, but he hates you right now, so. <laughs> I think KKMD is a physician, right? <laughs> I was gonna wait for Avi, because he'll come in here. Well, I would just want to know what the contention is. Yeah, so I said it was irresponsible for a medical doctor, um, who has a YouTube channel on a YouTube stream to say to his audience that there's mixed evidence for homeopathic medicine. Um, the way Dr. K presented it, it sounded like he suggested like a 50-50 chance it might work. Uh, that is not the case. You should make Avi watch the actual clips because your summary of everything he says is fucking horrible. <laughs> well, he, he said some some okay, studies show what, works, he, said. what some he said what he doesn't. said was so there's a guy that this guy really hates called Dr. K and Dr. K made the statement that um, the evidence for homeopathy is mixed at best and that or he said that the evidence is mixed and we can't think of any biological uh, like mechanism of action basically for why any yeah, of this he, stuff he did would say work that. um and he says he, something like that. And then what Vegan Gaines is upset about is he's saying that by presenting it that way, he's making it sound like there's, I guess he just said now, a 50-50 chance that it might work. Well, wait, wait. He he did, after saying that, also state that, you know, 50 or so years ago, we, like, we thought meditation didn't do anything because, again, there was no mechanism of which, you know, we could understand how me meditation would improve, like, mood or uh, symptoms of depression. And then he said, now we understand why. So he was also suggesting that might not necessarily mean much. No, he was saying that our we might have an ev evolution of belief over stuff related to homeopathy. That maybe stuff related to homeopathy in the future might be validated for one reason or another. But right now there's mixed And, and by the way, um, homeopathy meaning diluting some sort of adjuvant or irritant or something. Uh, I think typically you do it nine times. Uh, and then you like consume it, drink it, or sometimes it's in a pill form. Sure, that's fine. I believe homeopathy can extend to more than just that, though. I think, but um, I don't think that would be specifically homeopathic medicine. Then that's fine. That you think that? Well, all right. I guess I'll have to watch the videos to form form a view. Uh, one thing I will say is that it, mixed at best is an important. That's it's an important qualifier. It doesn't give me a fifty fifty indication. Agreed. And also, uh, and to also say um, that um, there's no um, understood mechanism by which it would work. That also leads, you know, that doesn't give me a 50-50 indication. Um, in fact, it like that that gives me a. So there's so I'll say one thing. So if that's what he said, then I, I'm not getting a 50-50 indication from Doctor K. If, if he said those words, if he said, um, again, this is with all all the. All of this is understood as I happen to watch the video. I have to do it to form an opinion. These are sort of conditional opinions based on what I'm hearing. So, yeah, saying mixed at best uh, and no uh, understood mechanism by which it would work 
that, that sounds like someone who, you know, may have their sympathies for it, but is, like, willing to say, like, all right, uh, the, the data's really not there to recommend this. He also said fucking Ayurveda has, has better evidence than homeopathy, which... It's probably Ugh. true, because I think the homeopathy evidence is very bad. Um, mixed evidence, well, but I'm sure there are probably... Because so, Ayurvedic is so broad, I'm sure there are probably some parts Ayurveda's, of it. Well, Ayurveda is so broad that it, it includes things that aren't even technically unique to Ayurvedic medicine. That's so, fine, like, but again, they might still be a part of Ayurvedic medicine. Just like yeah, we might be able to say there might be some shaman treatments that are medically efficacious, but those are also encompassed by well, like, modern Well, those aren't shaman... Well, then I'm that's sorry, not shamanism, that's just medicine. The sentence, my bad. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying that medicine is broad and grows to encompass things from other disciplines that we might not wholly in embrace. And, and again, like, he, he goes on to talk about doshas. Like, as if that has better evidence than homeopathy. If I can just make a point in process, one, one thing I would caution everyone to be um, sensitive to is... Um, Couching a lot of things under broad term, but when like there's, um, but when one wants to make a final statement about whether something works or not, instead of talking about the specific things within that umbrella, they just prefer the umbrella. So, for example, like Ayurveda, um, Ayurvedic medicine might include like a thousand different interventions for a hundred different exposure outcome relationships, um, and maybe like. 99% of them don't work and 1% does and like the 1% that may work they'll say aha see ayurvedic medicine works or if it was the reverse like you know just and that would be just as silly as if like 99% of the ayurvedic interventions worked and 1% did and, and they just said the 1% that didn't so therefore ayurvedic medicine doesn't work so instead of just like just like getting into this haze about like oh this umbrella term ayurvedic medicine or homeopathy or whatever it is just talk about, okay, we're in this category of Ayurvedic medicine. Let's, there's all these different proposed exposure outcome relations. What specific ones do you think work? What specific ones do you think don't? don't? I think that would be more productive than just saying like, oh, this broad, vague category. Homeopathy um, is specific. We're talking about Ayurvedic. Okay, never mind. You said homeopathy as well. I'm saying that is we, one we of the specific ones. We about move topics. There's a, there was, yes, there was a contention in the conversation about how specific it was maybe it applied to things other than dilution. No, Regardless not homeopathy doesn't. It's all can somebody just go, hold on, can somebody, can wait, 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 can somebody just go, well, hold on, because speaking games, this is your contention too. Can somebody Google this, just find out? This isn't easy, like, just Google it, it's either right or wrong. My understanding is that when people talk about, like, homeopathic, homeopathic medicine, um, that they can talk about things that are more than just like the dilution shit. But I could be wrong. I, just, I don't know if that's true or not. I just, I feel like I've heard people in the past talk about homeopathic uh, treatments so, and, and it's not just that dilution stuff. But I, I, I could mean, be I wrong. Can, Literally just I look it up. I can say my nan on my dad's side used to be a homeopath and I ate an entire jar of sugar pills. It obviously did nothing. So I'm aware of what homeopathy is specifically. And it is a specific part of if it's covered under Ayurveda. So the know. first link that I found um, basically says, like what I said, it's a thing of treating like with like. So if you are, are experiencing some problem with an irritant, using a very small amount of that irritant will build up your body's immune response or something and activate some sort of healing property. And again, it, it requires dilution of that irritant. Yeah, so it's basically so just a sugar pill at the end. Yeah, Wait, so you, there there are some... Only that? Is it limited to that? Or is there, like, any other thing under homeopathy that, like, doesn't involve that that would be included under that term? No, no. I'm aware of. Are you sure? No, so there might be homeopaths that will tell you to change your diet or some shit like that, but that's not, homeo that's not homeopathy. Homeopathy is that very specific thing. It's kind of like chiropractic where chiropractic is specifically subluxation, the idea of like realigning a spine to activate healing powers, but chiropractors might actually employ legitimate physical therapy techniques. All right, well, the point either way, uh, regardless of who's right on this, because I, I haven't looked, at, uh, looked into it, because uh, I don't really care to, but the point uh, either way is that to whatever degree an umbrella term has more and more inter claimed interventions for exposure outcome relationships it's more and more important to not just invoke the umbrella term and say it works or it doesn't work. 
it's important to actually dig down and separate the different claims. Right. Yeah, I understand you- that. Yeah, and my like my very specific criticism of Ayurvedic medicine is it relies on this uh, term called doshas, and you can just Google doshas. It's just fucking nonsense. It like talks about earth, wa- like water, fire, spirit, powers, and it has like some sort of mind body connection. Like it's it's just garbage. Uh, and again, there's a medical doctor promoting this stupid idea where the core belief of this is diagnosing somebody with a certain dosha which again it, oh your water spirit or you have fire spirit but like you're earth bodied basically yeah so it's, it's basically it's literally avatar there was a was there a point of contention over doshas yeah, well, I, I was criticizing him for supporting this idea as a medical doctor. Like, again, if one of the core principles when it comes to uh, determining treatments is Wait, this diagnosis... A medical doctor? Yeah, yeah, he's a medical doctor. And he was claiming... I mean, he's supporting him as a medical doctor. Sorry? Did you say, like, your criticism of Destiny was that he was supporting Dr. K as a medical doctor? I haven't supported no, anything. Criticizing My Dr. issue K. is that when Vegan Games comes in with a lot of, like, claims or statements, oftentimes he does it with no... Uh, he won't, like, send me a clip or give me, like, an actual thing. And then when I go and look at the actual statements made, they're never as, like, bombastic as he says they are. So then it kind of changes the way that they view the original thing. It's, yeah. Okay, so well, again... My previous question. So is there a dispute over doshas? I don't think so. I think Destiny would agree with me that it's nonsense, but like, like again, the problem I have is I don't think you should trust a medical doctor that's supporting this idea of doshas in Ayurvedic medicine when like the core, like the first pathway to determining treatment is to diagnose somebody with a specific dosha or doshas when you can't do that. Like, like again, the idea is just silly. And I, I, ju- I just wouldn't trust a medical doctor who believes in this sort of bullshit. It, it calls into question any of his advice. Because if he has such a uh, lapse in judgment when it comes to something like literal medieval uh, medicine, um, I don't think you could trust him when it comes to other things. So I just say, look for another expert, aside from Dr. K. Do you know if, like, this dosha stuff is, like, a central part of, like, his actual practice? Like, his therapy? Like, if you were in a therapy session... Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. I don't believe it ever was, but... uh. Well, he was really fucking promoting it on his website, and he even made, like, online seminars talking about doshas and how important they are to determining root causes of both physical and mental health issues. I don't think this ever happened, but I'm not sure. I literally showed you a clip! So, I think, Abby, the issue is that, like, so, Dr. K, as a psychiatrist, feels like our current Western medical health interventions are really poor, so sometimes he draws upon things that he studied in, studied in Eastern medicine, and he said these might be, it feels to me, I'm saying from what I've seen, feels to me like he says these things in Eastern medicine might be hinting at or pushing towards something that might give us a better uh, better patient outcomes if we kind of, like, incorporate some of this stuff or think about the way that they approach things over here. That seems well, to be, like, the way, broadly speaking, kind of, like, what he pushes for. Yeah. Medicine like is a misnomer. Okay. Wait, what? He doesn't like the term Eastern medicine because he's going to say Eastern medicine is called Eastern medicine because it's all quackery, and if it was real medicine, it would just be called medicine. Eastern medicine is largely not evidence-based, so it shouldn't be called that. Well, it's not even Eastern medicine. It's just, it's called Ayurvedic medicine uh but again it's it's not medicine it, it's basically religious beliefs so so this is going back to what i said earlier guys so yeah you haven't seen the clips be, be aware, no 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 but i'm saying be be aware no what i said earlier is be aware be very sensitive to what broad terms that have a thousand well, yeah relations. so you talk about eastern medicine right so like that's vague i mean i don't that doesn't really like oh dr k like you know, there's the Eastern medicine can mean a whole lot of things. Like, what exactly, what what exposure outcome claim is Doctor K making within Eastern well, medicine? Well, again, the the specific problem I brought up is he likes diagnosing people with certain doshas, and he uses that as a basis to determine um, appropriate treatment options. Okay, which so that point of is contempt- silly. Because it sounds like Destiny doesn't believe he does that. Yeah, if I saw a thing where he's like, listen, you've got an XYZ dosha, and I'm going to recommend this as treatment for you, um, I, 
I, I, think, I, mean, I, I think I would have a pretty big. Clip. I think I would have we a pretty. We saw the clip like yesterday. Do you want to show Doctor Avi that clip and tell me and ask him if he, if he thinks that that sure. what you're saying is an accurate um, representation of that clip? Go for it. I could be wrong. Sure. Now, again, this also involves his website where he was promoting Ayurvedic we, medicine, we shit like that. We, we can watch and the I, clip. Yeah, and by the way, I'm I'm not being totally uncharitable. I know he does <laughs> use modern medicine. Um, I'm not denying that. Like he won't. It, it's not like he won't prescribe antidepressants Wait, does or this something. Wait, use doshas or not? Show me the clip. Like, yeah, sure. Um, let me. I sent it to Destiny the other day. Just. Wait, why the fuck can't I see your messages? Oh, here we go. Just give me one second. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, so he... He, um made a claim about COVID saying doshas actually predict Vegan Gains also does COVID. this thing where anytime I ask him for evidence or like a clip of what we're seeing as he's looking for it or even if he doesn't look for it, he just continues to like kind of stack claim after I don't know why he's doing this instead of I'm looking at the fucking clip <laughs> Okay, just but just like link the thing because like dude. in the process of doing this if I didn't say something you would just like say thing after thing we wouldn't even establish that no, the I first wouldn't. thing is that you've done this before and you were just doing it right now Link the clip as surely as the sun is going to rise tomorrow, I think you are going to continue stacking random statements that he's made. Is Destiny watching something? No, nope, we're all just hanging out. Oh, okay. I didn't want to. I'm just trying to find the clip. Oh, hi, Megan Gaines. Let me tell you what I ate today. I had a chimichanga with beans and beef. Yeah, good. Choke on it. Fucking die. <laughs> Kelly Jean, I. What is your strife with uh, my. Yeah, but which dosha is going to kill her? Holy shit, that was loud. Sorry, what did you say, Zena? Wait, so Zena and Vegan Gains hate each other? Did I miss something? No, no, I love Vegan Gains. Everybody actually, loves I love lemons. Vegan Gains. I just wanted to troll him for a second. Okay. Yeah, no, we're 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 cool. I'm gonna go on his thing and talk more about veganism just one on one pretty soon here. But um, Kelly Jean, I've just Yo. been hearing these things. You and my man's don't get along. No one really explains the lore behind it. So since I have your attention. I would love to hear the story. Kelly thinks that Darius is creepy and rapey around women. I didn't say rapey once ever in my... You need to stop this because it's past the point of being funny to me. Yeah, don't put words in her girl. mouth. Can you, yes, exactly. exactly. If you ask me not to do it anymore with a voice, I'll stop doing it. Which one? Uh, <laughs> that one. Stop doing it, Steven. <laughs> okay, I won't say Jesus. rapey anymore. Thank fucking God. Okay, um... Here's the first clip. I'm just going to send this to Avi. It's a clip of the, the timestamp. I'm just going through some of the clips you might want to watch. So this first clip, he claims that he's found Ayurvedic medicine. Why does medicine Destiny stream from his website? Is what does more he effective from ultimately from than traditional treatment. PLC. That includes like uh, psychotherapy, medication. Uh, and he, he was claiming that it, it, when it, within about six months, a lot of patients who were on meds, he can take them off. With okay, Ayurvedic that's not, treatment. Wait, that's, not, that's not what yeah, we talked okay, about. I, yeah, I know. I'm just going through these clips one by one. It's hard to find the actual clips, but... but I'll tell you, like, it, without even watching the clip... Again, again, it, like, he goes into detail about some of these doshas and how it can be used to prescribe certain treatments yeah, and patient that, outcome. And, does he do that so, in the Something also, Dr. No, Abby, I don't know what your personal experience I'm, is with this, and I oh. initially I thought it was kind of dumb, but after... Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna back out, I yeah, need I to fucking go eat and shit, I'm gonna send you the, I'm yeah, gonna send you, I'm gonna send you the clips, and y you can, you can... Can you just send him um, the clips you sent me yesterday? I, I just want to know if the clip I'm about to watch is the dosha clip. That's that's literally all I'm trying to establish. Yeah, sure. I okay, fine. I'll just do that first. Let me just mute my fucking earphones because I'm fucking getting annoyed. I'll I'll be back in a second. My understanding yeah. is that a lot of um 
uh, therapists, even if they're trained in psychology, I don't know about psychiatry, is they tend to work in personal stuff in therapy, which initially my assumption would have been like, oh, if you're a therapist, you just do like CBD or um, or other or CBT or like other types of like, you know, research based interventions. But I guess my understanding is there are a lot of ones that will work like faith based stuff and or meditation and not like in a not like in a research way, but just like therapists have different things that right. they think are effective yeah. with patients. So when I listen to Dr. K, and I could be wrong, by the way, I haven't listened to a lot of Dr. K, but when I listen to Dr. K, it sounds like um, he kind of uses these like dosha things or these other things as kind of like narrative ways to deliver basically therapeutic treatments. They're like, oh, if you imagine yourself as this archetype, and if you imagine that these things might help you, here are like some interventions we can do, and maybe it'll be better than just like taking a yeah, pill. Yeah, you want to you wanna separate like, so, like a religious... Um, psychiatrist or a religious therapist who may use certain elements of religion as like a guiding step to try to get the patient on the right path versus mm -hmm. like oh like it says in this scripture this and this and this and you are you fit this and this and this so this you, you're gonna get this treatment exactly yeah if it was the case that I watched like dr. K episodes and he's like oh hey great I'm talking to John today give me one moment John you have this uh, dosha and we're gonna do this like if he did that then I could understand that like, yeah, this is like pretty fucked. But it feels like what he does is he generally listens to somebody. He'll go through like, oh, well, have you considered? And then he goes through like some very standard like therapeutic interventions for depression, for anxiety, for stuff like that. And then because obviously most people on the internet have heard of most of these, and I guess a lot of people try it a lot. Sometimes he'll take it to the next level and say, oh, well, you know, like spiritually, some people would consider you like this dosha or you have this karma or whatever. And it might help to think of it in this. And then he kind of like frames it through this like spiritual lens. Um, now, there might be worse examples that I'm just not aware of, but almost everything I've seen of Dr. K roughly falls in that. And I'm somebody that is, I am a very like a spiritual atheist. Like I hate all sorts of like woo-woo quackery bullshit. I'm very much not into anybody. But it seems like that's what he does most of the time. And I don't know, I haven't had like a huge problem with well, what I've seen. Yeah, no, I, I don't have a, a disagreement with that. Like, it, if, like you can use, even if I don't believe in the actual claims themselves, I, I can appreciate the difference between a therapist using um, using stories that are not true but may be inspirational to certain patients and might help in some way yeah as, as long as we're not as long as the, we don't take the step further from that yeah exactly like i if he was in a thing where he was like listen um i understand you're on prozac right now but this dosha shouldn't be on prozac instead you should probably be like <laughs> diluting water so that would be some sure like okay this is probably not good um, yeah. Also, here, actually, I'm curious what you think about this. Um, maybe you've done more research on this. This is a claim that I made yesterday that vegan games disagreed with, and I could be wrong. My understanding is where we're at right now with Western medicine and mental health um, is it's pretty dog shit. That like, for instance, my understanding is that like SSRIs, SNRs, stuff like that, they kind of like, they barely beat placebo. They do in a statistically significant sense, but not that much. And that we're not doing too well on our like interventions when it comes to med um, mental health. Would you agree broadly with that statement? Or do you think I'm understating the gains we've made like in mental health pharmacology and therapeutic intervention? Overall, um, really, okay. So I will give the short answer, but I, I must couple it with the longer answer. Yeah, go for it. So, so overall, more or less, like there's a lot that leaves to be wanted mm -hmm. with the current status of mental health and uh, the current interventions that we have. Mm -hmm. However, I will I will say that this highly depends on what exposure outcome relationship we're talking about. Again, be sensitive to the broad label because within mental health we have outcomes like suicide, which is different from suicidality, which is different from some uh, from some questionnaire that we give to assess someone's... Sure, um, sure. That's, yeah. that is true. You have to separate it. Like antipsychotics for people that have certain types of mental health issues, or like medications that uh, somebody with schizophrenia might take are probably inarguably beating placebo by a significant amount yes. and are incredibly 100%. important, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then what, even when it comes to depression, the weak performing interventions that we have, if you look at how they're measured, they're broadly measured by um, by uh, these surveys that uh, it have some indication of someone's, that it's a construct that has some indication about how someone's feeling. Um, when you look at harder outcomes, you see, and you stratify by age, we see that um, the effects are, the effect sizes are much higher and sometimes in the wrong direction, sometimes in the right direction. Yeah. So what you see, uh, so what, and specifically the young, for really young individuals mm -hmm. uh, with depression, with, with attempted suicide, it's actually in the wrong direction. And there's a, there's an explained reason for that. 
But with older individuals, it's a high effect size in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And the the explanation um, for SSRIs and depression leading to suicide is the first thing to come back, um, especially in younger individuals, is motivation. So, like one of the things that depression that depression fucks with you is it fucks your motivation. Mm -hmm. You don't really. You, you, there are people who just like they're in bed all day. They can't get it. They just and and sometimes that's what's preventing them from killing themselves. Sure. Is that you know they would kill themselves, but I just can't get out of bed to actually. I can't motivate myself to get on the to get out of the. the okay. Mm -hmm. I'm back. So the the point is that with SSRIs, the the first part before everything else gets reset, the first thing that get, gets reset is the motivation. So that there's a suicide risk actually when starting an SSRI. Especially in young individuals, so you'll find the effect size is actually with younger individuals it's higher, but it's even in the wrong direction. But with older individuals, there actually is a very, especially with things like post-stroke depression, sure. there is a very, very strong effect size, and it is very favorable to prevent suicide in older individuals. Sure. Okay. So okay. Um, yes. So yeah, go ahead. What's, so what's the uh, second last link I sent you, Avi, it's time stamped. Um, Dr. K goes into how Ayurvedic medicine works when it comes to diagnosing doshas and how that's associated with uh, certain possible ailments. And then in the last link, he actually talks about how certain doshas are connected with uh, like genetic phenotypes and how you can actually predict things like uh, COVID symptoms and severity by well, using let just, doshas. Let me just be clear, are you saying in the first clip that he's, he says that he's used doshas to diagnose and treat patients, like specifically? Yeah, um, he, 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 he talks about how certain doshas are associated with certain physical and mental ailments and he uses that as basically a framework for determining best treatment. And he, in, in the last clip I sent you, again, it's timestamped, he talks about how doshas are actually kinetic, connected with genetics somehow, even though I don't think he has any fucking evidence for that. He couldn't possibly. And he claims that that can actually predict things like COVID symptoms and severity. Wait, what is um? What are doshas again? Because that that actually doesn't sound that surprising. That there'd be some phenotypes that might be associated with some other. fraudulistic espialidosis. Ban, you're gonna get banned. Why? Why? <laughs> so look at you can just look at what a dosha is. Again, it's this mind-body connection where there's fire doshas, earth doshas, yeah. But I'm asking how do you determine somebody's dosha? You, you can't. It, it like again, it's just. It's shamanism. It's medieval medicine. Well, the question is, how does Doctor K determine? Yeah, how does do yeah, How would they? How what is his explanation? How he determines the dosage? So, um, like, he he goes through examples in the video. Um, so he says he has like a wind dosha because he's very he has like a lot of ideas that run around his head very quickly. So crap like that. Okay, so that doesn't sound random at all. That sounds like a personality assessment, basically, like a Myers Briggs esque. Well, again, you can take a look at it. You can look at what doshas are. It's uh, not Wait, quite like to... that. Well, here, here. Okay, so here, here's the break. Before I and I, we will watch that. We can watch the clips together. I, but I just want to want you to know what we're trying to separate. Um, yeah, sure. First thing we're trying to separate was so you know how like there are certain religious therapists. Who yeah. are still practicing? Yeah, like Jordan Peterson. I'm not talking about Jordan Peterson, <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, anyway, I don't know. Incorporate oh, spirituality and prayer sometimes, literally, into therapeutic sessions. Yeah, if they're yeah. religious and they should, if they're a good therapists, they're asking their client if they're religious and if they'd like to participate in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's one thing. Like some some religious therapists might like have a religious um, patient, and they may say, okay, well, you know, if if this would help, and if you're okay with it, maybe we can engage in some prayer, and maybe that would uplift the patient. Maybe that would help in some way. I want to separate that between a type of intervention where someone just says, ah, okay, well, you're from this religious tribe, and if we look at the religious scriptures. Um, it says in this passage that people with this tribe shouldn't be treated this way, and so we're going to get change your medicine to this, right? You see the difference between those two types of approaches? Yeah, yeah. And, so, um, and the, the way 
Yeah, yeah so the way... I'm trying to make the same dis dis discrepancy. I'm trying to see, like, is Dr. K saying, oh, well, you have these types of personalities, you have, like, this fleeting thought, maybe that's, like, a wind dosha, and maybe if you thought of yourself in terms of this, this dosha, maybe that might be something that can help you get through the day, like, you just realize this is coming from, you know, there may be this type of, like, connection with this fle fleeting thoughts, maybe that'll help you get uh, under the under control, versus... Oh, you have these fleeting thoughts, therefore you're Windosha, and also the scripture says Windosha shouldn't be on Prozac, right? That's that, I'm trying to make that well, same thing. Well, he actually criticizes the use of antidepressants. Okay, um, but that's, I'm pretty sure everybody criticizes in the favor, use of antidepressants. Talking, you know, get, yeah, in favor of Ayurveda. Okay, but I'm not... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. That, so that claim right there, that's a really strong claim. I'd be curious to see a clip where he's actually saying, like, you shouldn't be on... It's it's in the clips. Wait, wait, so. hold on, wait. Which okay, one did you like? Yeah, let's wait, I want to watch that. I want to watch that one. Is right, it um, in one that you just... I, 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 I can't in... stick around, unfortunately. I really need to eat and go. Sure, wait. Um, is it the one that you just linked me, The Dangers of Pseudoscience? Is it that link that you just sent me? I didn't link you any new ones. I only linked uh, Avi. Um, okay. I think the ones that I linked you, it was Okay, the, wait, well, let's wait like 30 seconds. It's either the first or the sure, second sure. Let's link. just wait 30 seconds and let Dr. Avi listen to that one. I'm curious if he actually says that. That would, because that would be a pretty what, extreme claim. What club am I clicking on? Richard, which which club? First oh, one or um, Fuck, I, I can't fucking remember now. Um, okay, I, I think it would be, wait, 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 um, I think it's the fucking first or second one. All right. I'm just going to send both it, of these to Destiny. We'll watch them on stream together. I, I really have to go though. I, I need to eat. Right, I'm so dieting I'm really hard and I oh, need God, to fucking eat. So we can lower the IQ of this But, uh, take care. Okay. Uh, okay. Destiny, I sent you in Discord both of the links that I was sent with timestamps. Listen, Let just... me know. Watch them and let me know how you feel about them. All right, I'm watching. All right, I'll watch. Yeah, it's not like I mean, there, there's. I can understand someone watching that and like making inferences that he does things, but I haven't heard him explicitly say the things that were mentioned. Yeah, that's right. 